in the main road of Sutherland again. Remember, in this vlog, somewhere in the background, there will be an alien or an alien creature or an alien spaceship hidden. And uh, if you see it, write down the timestamp, put it in the comments, and you will be the first one that would have discovered the alien or the spaceship or the alien creature or a flying saucer. So it's a little thing I'm doing for fun. Uh, you can look for the alien in the background somewhere in this video clip or in this vlog. I am walking out of town for about a kilometer to a place called Starland, which translates in English as Starland. And somebody told me it's interesting owners and it's also a place where you can go to watch the stars out of town. Just out of town, out of Sutherland. And let's see what's going on in Starland or Starland. Uh, it's quiet enough, you can walk in the middle of the, the road, out of town, no vehicles, and uh, yeah, why not, walk in the middle of the road. Here we are approaching Stadland, so if you're like me and you don't have a car or transport, it's just a brisk 10 minute walk and then you are at Stadland. Uh, you can see the signs next, next to the road here. Walking into Stadland. Looks really nice. Walking into Stadland. Let's see who greets me first. Oh, someone is standing way over there. There's an office thing here. It looks really pretty. Stadland office. Hello. Empty office. Oh, there is someone that's coming. I'm assuming that's here. I think he's talking on the phone. Here. Okay. It says he will be with me now. Okay, tell me about Stadland, how did it start and what's, what is it about? It's quite a long story. My father-in-law used to be the town clerk here in the 70s and I met my wife Rita when we were 19 years old. So uh, we came here many, many times to Sutherland, but I should say that I hated the place because it was so very, very cold. So when the SALT telescope uh, started building in 2000, Two years afterwards, uh, she came with this famous comet that comes up uh, every, every 75 years. So that's where the whole thing started. And at th that time too, we didn't have many feet. We had to create feet to uh, get people to Sutherland. And we eventually started renovating and building uh, more guest houses and so on and so on. We started a camping site here in Sutherland. I saw many people walking around in the village, not know, knowing what to do. So I decided to buy a telescope and we give a show basically every night, the whole year round. And stargazing the past 10 years especially became very uh, prominent. The people wants to come to Sutherland because it is the best place to look at the stars. And our climate is in such a way that we enjoy more than 80% cloudless nights and we make use of that. Look, I haven't got the largest telescope in the world. Um, I use uh, an American make, uh, it's called Celestron CPC 1100. It's a Smith Cassegrain telescope, in other words, it's got a lens and a mirror. But the beauty of the telescope is that it's very compact. So if you have a little bit of wind, your vibration is not so severe. I can observe things 
30 million light years away and I can describe it so that's good enough for me because remember that we had no funding or anything we had to finance everything that we did uh, out of our own pocket and um, the fact that I do the stargazing every night is not a burden for me I like my work so for me it's a pleasure every night to entertain the people and to let them realize how insignificant we are in this big universe and I think uh, the people come to terms on that one. Okay what we do here is uh, this is now Sterland we've got eight just over eight hectares of land here there was never a proper uh, camping site here so we started a camping site every stand has got his own private bride and um, you can walk around here so what we created now is that when you camp there is a splash pool that you can wet your feet and so on. For the kids we made a sort of a walking trail, a bicycle trails that they can stay inside the camp area. It makes it very convenient especially for the mothers to look after the kids. And we also made a fire pit that you can enjoy. We do not allow braai there. The idea of the fire pit is that you must come look at the fire be quiet and just enjoy the fire which is good uh, company for you and then we also have a very amazing lovers walk we took verses of old uh, how can I say poets and uh, it's a case of that you read what the husband say or the man say and you read what the woman say and at the end of the journey there are about nine groups of, of verses. You come to some conclusion uh, with somebody you might like and other people might not like, but it gives you real food for thought. I just checked out the Olaf Sterland or Starland in English, the camping site, the Boma, and uh, I'm really impressed because first of all the place is really neat, and second of all it's like a little paradise here. When you come here, I didn't expect all this greenery. So there's just green trees, flowers, there's things to do here, and this is the telescope, so you can come here. In the evenings and the year will tell you all about the stars and you can check out the stars it's really modern amazing telescopes so uh, i think this is an excellent place to come if i come here again i want to come and camp here for sure and uh, yeah it's just uh, i can just imagine the stars here in the evening i wish i was here in the evening so come check it out when you come here come to this area come check out starland starland well that was unexpectedly cool such a cool place so walking back to town 